Fourth annual Shamrock Stampede is in Castle Rock this weekend. Whether you like to run or walk, there's an event for you. Jason and Gina join us live to talk about this weekend. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I love the um, the necklaces and everything you guys are wearing. So this is more than sure. just a family friendly <laughs> walk and run. It's it's actually for a life changing cause. Can you talk about that? Yeah, the, the cause is really important to us. It's about supporting our veterans and first responders and their families that are struggling with PTSD. Um, our job is to elevate the, the St. Patty's Day celebration and bring awareness to PTSD and, and remove the stigma as much as we can. We're going to be on stage talking about this, and it's okay. It's okay to talk about the mental issues that you have. Let's just get on stage and talk about it and be comfortable with it and get help. A very, very important cause in, indeed. And so let's talk about the event day. What are the different events people can partake in? Oh, we have a lot going on. So there's a 7K fun run. There's a 3.3K leisurely walk. There's a free 1K kids run. We've got an expo at the Douglas County Event Center indoors. There's about 35 vendors. We got pancakes. We've got coffee. We've got one free beer per participant. Lots going on. Thanks, Diane. And how many runners are you expecting? It's crazy. So I think we're expecting about 1,000 runners um, and each one of those runners is going to get a fresh bagel from Einstein Brothers at the finish line. Einstein Brothers is our presenting sponsor. That is incredible. You're hooking everybody up there. Um, but there is a registration fee. Can you talk about how much that fee is and where is it going towards? Yeah, absolutely. So there is a registration fee. People can sign up tomorrow. Um, we might sell out. So get there early at 830. It's 830 to 1230. And all the proceeds go, all 100% of the proceeds go to two organizations, the CU Anschutz Medical Campus and the Colorado Fallen Heroes. And how can people go and register? So we only, so online registration is closed, but you can come race day morning at 8.30, walk inside the, the expo, come to the registration table, we'll get you hooked up. And have you guys been organizing this the past four years? Yeah, we actually founded it. So when we started Run to Change Lives, um, we founded two new races. We do three races a year, one on Thanksgiving morning, um, one on 4th of July, and this race. And the cause is near and dear to our heart. Gina lost her brother about 11 years ago. His birthday was on St. Patty's Day, so that's why we started this. Wow. And, and I imagine last couple of years, had it been virtual? This Honestly, this feels like our second year. So we had to cancel the race a week before in, in 2020 due to COVID. So we had everything planned and we had to shut it down. And then last year we had the race, but it just felt different. Uh, we spread people out for safety reasons. So it never really felt like a, a big crowd. So honestly, this feels like our second year. Yeah, I mean, it is just pretty awesome. The fact that you guys can be back together again, case counts are down, and it just will almost feel like a celebration to get everyone back together. Um, weather seems to be great, so I'm wishing you the best. Again, people Yay. can't register online, but they should arrive early day of the event. Uh, Gina and Jason, thank you so much. Nice to talk to you guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. See you tomorrow.